Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an urgent message from your angels and guides. So please choose your group now. We have group number one, two, three and four and I'm going to put some crystals on the cards now. Okay, so we have group number one with the Rhodonite Tower, group two with the Amethyst Cluster, group three with the Pink Opal and group number four with the Small Calcite Tower. So please choose your group now. All crystals are available on my website, link down below for my crystal shop. So let's get started, starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one, let's get started with your reading. So the first crystal we have here is Rhodonite. So this is the crystal you chose for group number one. So we're gonna see what message is coming from your guides, what urgent message is here. So let me grab the other cards. So let's see what is coming towards you. So starting off with these cards here, we have Authenticity, number 10. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word and deed. We have confidence. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. We have this in reverse, reverse, okay. We have the moon soul card. And we also have the seventh house of partners, beautiful. And the last, oh, we've got two cards here. The last two cards we have is Venus. And then we also have Ceres. Okay, I moved the flowers so I could have a bit more room. So we have authenticity, confidence, moon, soul in the reverse, seven paths of partners and pleasures. And then we have series. Okay, so interesting. So series is all about nurturing and we have this kind of air of this confidence and self selflessness and also not selfishness, but the art of the self. So I feel like for you guys, it's really concentrating on your authentic self. We have number 10, we have 32, two and 31. So you can see kind of like a correlation because we have number two, which is all about duality. It's togetherness, it's duality. It's like the yin and yang. And then we also have number 10, which is kind of like the endings and beginnings. So I do feel like for you guys, you guys are really working on your own self. You're working on becoming much more confident and really working on bringing in what you really want out of life. And I feel like it's coming from a really nice place of nurturing yourself and allowing authentic relationships to appear in your life. And this could come in various different ways. I feel like this is all around all of your relationships. This is family, this is neighbors I'm hearing. So maybe you're gonna move very soon. I just feel like I'm getting this energy of, well, I haven't been around my family at the moment because of what's going on around the world and actually because I haven't been around them I've realized that actually I don't feel like I need them in my life anymore and it could have been like that it could have been like a separation from part people in your family not everyone I don't feel but a lot of your more extended family I feel like people who you kind of felt maybe grudgingly needed to see or had to see because of birthdays or celebrations or anything like that but you really didn't want to be around them and since all this stuff is happening around the world it's kind of like cause you to really think about what you really want and who you want to spend your time with and actually because you are very sensitive or you are maybe becoming more sensitive because you are around less people it's allowing your more authentic self to come out because you're not influenced by other people which I think is a really big message I think that's a really interesting message as well it's a really nice message of just allowing yourself to be yourself and be authentic and just be who you are and just allowing that really nice energy to come in. And we do have authenticity and confidence kind of nicely here. So this is a really nice combination. Because of this massive change in your soul's evolution, I feel like this is really time for you to engage in things that really give you happiness and make you feel really good about yourself. And I do feel like it's going towards and aiming towards partnerships and co-creation with other people that are really gonna suit you. So. With this in mind, I do feel like those of you who have been single for quite a long time, I do feel like you're going to, oh, sorry guys, I just hit the microphone. I do feel like some of you are going to manifest long-term, I'm hearing masterful relationships that really, really suit you. And this can be friendships, this can be relationships, really nice work colleagues. And I do feel like the more you're going towards things that you really love, things that bring you pleasure, and things that add value to your life, you can't go wrong essentially. And anytime we aren't doing that anyway, we're not really doing anything wrong in the first place. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer, of course, but our life is there to kind of experiment and do things differently and change it up because we're not meant to be linear. We're not linear. Time 
isn't really linear in the 5D, you know, it kind of varies up and down, you know, so kind of like when you have readings sometimes and there's a timing and sometimes the timing isn't always super, super accurate, we, like as a reader, you can only do so much as what the messages you're given, you know, so it's kind of like it fluctuates. So I definitely feel like because these two images are kind of very similar, you can see like we have this energy here of this almost scythe kind of situation and the Venus card, which is obviously about the femininity power and all that loving energy. So because we have these two together and they're very, very similar, I do feel like you're coming together and you may have had some trauma that has caused this almost emotional black hole, as I've recently learned that that can be what it's called. And essentially, when you have this black hole, it sounds really intense, but actually it's all about how you're using it. So when you have an emotional black hole, it's when basically you go through trauma and somebody rejects you or somebody hurts you or you go through something that just really makes you down and you feel like you can't get back up again when we haven't healed that energy can get sucked into this vortex and basically we attract things that we need healing to, to help us heal so for you guys I feel like the more you learn to embrace your authentic side in a sense of doing things that you really want to do this is going to bring you to a more whole place and you're not going to have that almost emotional black hole kind of situation and that's not a bad thing by the way guys just being aware of it is just something to kind of think about so that's what I feel like is coming towards you and that what you need to know we're going to have a look at um, the rest of the cards and we're going to see what else you guys need to know so I'm going to pick um, an animal card for you what you need to oops wow that was quick <laughs> what you guys need to know right now and where you're going where you're going to be wow these cards are coming out really quickly okay so two very wise animals working on that thinking energy working on um, the energy of thought and then we underneath we have the camel which is really about that high vibe fire energy really kind of being okay with who you are but also having an energy of being very proud and confident and being very loving in that energy you know when we're authentic it doesn't mean that we have to kind of bash other people and hurt other people being authentic is literally living in love it's living in a sense of you be who you are and i'll be who i am and there's no pain here you know we just want to co-create and be in, as one but we don't always have to have the same views that is authenticity it's being yourself and but also recognizing that other people don't have to agree with you or be on the exact same path as you you know that's a really good way of kind of being that authentic energy so i do feel like because you've gone through this energy of learning i do feel like you're going to unravel a lot of things that possibly have been hidden from you maybe on a soul level and you're going to start to realize that not everything you've kind of been through was maybe super authentic it could have been relationships that were around you and it doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong it's just it's showing you what you need to heal and I do feel like if you've already done like a hell of a lot of healing I feel like you're now going to kind of fly away from others who just don't serve you and people who just aren't on your wavelength and I do definitely feel like for a lot of you guys you are going to manifest a really long-term partner who's just really on your wavelength the fox here represents partnerships romance it represents the ultimate partner so I do feel like you're going to manifest that energy but it's out of lack of it's out of an energy of not needing somebody but wanting somebody and also not craving that energy but if you do that's okay but it's kind of allowing that balance and also when you are single or you are one and also partnership by the way can mean friendship too but I do feel like within that space of just allowing you're not needing or wanting anything you're just allowing things to happen and that's a really good space to be in okay so that's what's kind of coming towards you. And sometimes you can see when um, foxes kind of attack owls or they attack birds, sometimes it can be in that energy of like not needing to force things or kind of go towards them straight away, maybe having a little think about the situation before you go into it. So there's a situation that comes towards you or somebody kind of talks to you as if they don't, you don't understand their situation or anything like that. Just kind of go with the flow as much as possible because this is all happening for a reason and for a purpose okay I really want this card beautiful lots of rings going on so allowing that wholeness to come in I really feel like you're working on being whole by yourself and I feel like you're healing your heart and for a while I feel like it was hard for you to be generous and to be open and your spirit guides want you to know that they ha are helping you and it may not feel like it sometimes but they are helping you and they are allowing to um 
allowing new people to come in and co-create with you but it may take a little bit of time but it, they'll come in when it's the right timing for you in your journey sometimes we have to do a little bit of extra healing by ourselves before we can allow anyone to come in and it's just an essence of divine timing okay so underneath the deck we have the king of cups which is a really really nice energy very gorgeous i love this kind of tattoo of this scarab here very very beautiful i don't know if there's an actual name for that some of you guys might know what that is um but i do feel like it's an energy of just allowing you to be yourself and you're going to manifest somebody who you're allowed to be yourself with and you're, there's no judging there's no judgment so this could also be a friend as i said but it could also just be somebody who you can just be yourself with and it could be a relationship as well so we have collaboration, generosity and articulate and I think a lot of this energy is about you giving to giving as much as you can but not over giving where you feel like you have to give for people to like you or for people to be on your wavelength. You just have to be your authentic self and if you can't give in that moment of whatever moment that is, just um, if somebody doesn't allow you space and doesn't allow you to have your own time, then they may not be the right person to be around. You may meet somebody who's very much into astrology, who's really kind of giving you a lot of clarity and they may have some tattoos as well around their shoulders or their neck. You may even meet a masculine or a male if you are into masculines as a, a romantic partner, but it could be a friendship or a work colleague who's also just very supportive and gives you that masculine energy that you need. You could be a masculine or a female, just letting you know, male or female. I feel like also you're wanting more space, you're wanting more kind of opportunities. And I do feel like this is gonna come in. I think it's just, you gotta give yourself time and space. And I think even though we want things to happen at a certain time, it doesn't mean that that's the right time for our soul, which is, an, I know is annoying, but being generous of yourself is gonna really, really help that. Just try not to judge yourself in this energy, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this helped you. If you want to, please check out my crystal, sh crystal shop. And if you want to have a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So the first crystal here we have, <clears throat> excuse me, is this gorgeous amethyst. I love this cluster. It's one of the clusters that I sell in my shop. This is probably one of my favorites actually because it's got such a gorgeous kind of dense bottom to it. I think it's really, really lovely. And who doesn't like a nice dense bottom, you know? <laughs> but it's very, very beautiful. I love that, very raw and gorgeous. So I feel like for you guys, you're really getting to the bottom of something and you're really um, kind of in that raw energy. So you may feel quite sensitive <clears throat> and I'm qu coughing quite a lot in this reading. So you may kind of be working on your throat chakra and really allowing things to shift through your throat. So it could be speaking your truth, kind of speaking your thoughts, um, speaking your ideas, you know, letting things come out of your brain through your vocal cords, through your mouth as well. It could be wanting to start singing, voice acting, something like that where your voice is really being heard or your voice is kind of like at the center of, of that, okay? Oh, I love this. What a beautiful card. We have number 44, New Beginnings. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. So I feel like you guys are really getting quite overwhelmed with things at the moment and you, I feel like your space needs a bit of clearing. So if you can get some sage or incense and just kind of like clear that bish right up <laughs> and just really get some new energy. Um, also remember to open your windows because that will allow the uh, smoke to kind of clear literally <laughs> and metaphorically. And we also have number 44. So you're coming into stability and you're coming into um, a vibration that matches your vibration. So you're going to start allowing, there's going to be new things that are start, going to start to come up for you and look out for blue butterflies as well. Oh, lovely fertility. That's a gorgeous combination. This girl's face is kind of freaky though. <laughs> She's like, hey. Um, but we have, let's all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. That is so cute. I love that. Okay, let's have a look at the next cards. We have earth elements, stability, literally what I just said. Is this in the reverse? No, this is upright. Okay, so wow, gorgeous. Let's have a look at the last two cards. We have Chiron, the wounded healer. And we also have the last quarter, transition, letting go, forgiveness and adaption. Beautiful. Okay, so massive amount of change for you guys. Really big transitioning. I feel like I need to say more about transition rather than transformation because I feel like you've already gone through the transformation. It's like the last tiny little peak and you're, you're almost coming to the peak of it now. So it's like a tiny little bit left until you can really like go now. It's almost like 
you are really, really raring to go somewhere or shift or move, just expand. And I feel like, oh, I actually didn't realize that it said last quarter. I say things just out of my intuition, but I actually didn't properly read it. So that is exactly what I'm feeling is that last quarter energy. Maybe have a look at where Chiron is in your chart if you know your birth time. If you don't know your birth time, I would just say 12 o'clock midnight or 12 midday. Try those two times out and see if that is your birth chart and if that resonates with you. I would have a look at where your Chiron is because this is gonna give you an idea of what you're releasing. And Chiron is a very big impactful energy. It's underneath the rooting of kind of your whole kind of birth chart. So say if you have Chiron in Leo, it can be about kind of standing out, standing up for yourself, being at center of attention and not wanting to be the center of attention. If your Chiron is in your seventh house or is in Libra, it could mean that you are working on relationships. Relationships could be a really big thing that you're working on at the moment. Or if it's in Aquarius, it could be needing to stand up for yourself, could be allowing yourself to be open to new people, to speak your truth, things like that. So I do feel like you're, you're releasing the last tiny little bit and it's all about finding this stability. You're now finding this. I'm, I'm getting emphasis on the word finding. So when you found this or you're trying to find it or you are finding it, I feel actually, I feel like it's more you are finding it. It's not like you're having to find it or trying to. I feel like you just are. And the more you are focusing on this stability, you are letting go of people who no longer serve you. You are releasing all of that old kind of energy around forgiveness and I actually didn't realize we had the word transition. That is crazy. Like I just read the cards and I don't even really fully read them. So my intuition is like transition, transition, transition. And I'm like, where is this word transition coming from? Because I normally say transformation, but it literally says on that card. That's crazy because I didn't really look at the card. So we love that. I love that. So an energy of like coming full circle, you are now being given a new circle. So you're now being given a new life path. So you could also be going through your Saturn return this year or most likely next year and I do feel like if you are you could be in your seventh year of transitioning so it could be almost like literal transition like from a different gender or it could literally be our cells trend, um, regenerate every seven years so say if you are 14 21 28 you know you could be any of those ages or you know kind of add your age up set by sevens and if you are beginning a new cycle it could mean that say if you're 21 that's obviously 7 14 21 three sevens that could have mean that you're now into a new cycle and it could be a saturn return but it could also be just a new cycle for you and i do feel like because we have fertility you could be manifesting a new partnership in terms of kind of yeah that fertility i'm just feeling like a new person is coming in your energy it doesn't have to be a baby but it could be a baby as well with new beginnings it could even be a little boy or a little girl i mean it could be both because we have pink and blue here you know just being general but I do feel as if there's a massive change in your energy and you are now allowing new things to come in in a different way. And I don't feel like you were judging things as much and not to say you did judge them before, but I feel like it was more coming out of your ego. Like when new things came in, you were like, oh, I don't deserve them or oh, that's not gonna pan out. But actually now you're just like, eh, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm going with the flow. And this is because you're now at the end of an old cycle. You have exhausted every single thing in terms of your own, your own healing. You have healed everything to get to this point. Obviously, we're gonna keep healing through our lives, but to this certain cycle that you're going through, I feel like you're very much nearly healed it. And there's a lot of this circular energy here, so really coming full circle. And you could be an earth sign as well, or attracting in an earth sign who really allows and helps you with the stable energy. And I'm hearing greets you on the right level, greets you on the same level as you are, and doesn't force or push you into a certain corner. And I don't think you are allowed them to push you into a certain corner and if somebody is kind of trying to push you and force you into this kind of box then try to shift away and walk away from that because at the end of the day we're coming into co-creation and I think a lot of our energy is really being ramped up and our ego is really being pushed to the surface so we are going to get a lot of people kind of coming at us being angry being frustrated because their stuff hasn't been healed yet and if we've done a lot of healing we can really recognize that so the more we come into our own center it's really super important to have time by ourselves at the moment. It's so, so, so important because especially if you are very sensitive to other people's energies, you're going to be extremely sensitive to these changes. And if you are around people who are very negative or are in their own energy or in their own negative bubble, you need to be in your own energy because they need to sort through that themselves, okay? Obviously assist them if you need to, but you don't have to be there with them. They have to do this for themselves, okay? So 
That is a really big message. I love that. And I'm hearing you can't heal other people, as in like you can't actually heal them. You can obviously do so much, but you can't actually heal them. It's kind of like, I keep getting this message the last couple of days, and it's like you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink unless you literally whack its head <laughs> into the water. But that isn't, that isn't like right. You can't physically force someone to heal. They just have to do it in their own energy. And as I say, you can support them, but you can't actually be the healer. You know, you can't actually heal them for them. And my ear is ringing and the other ear has gone very deaf. So I do feel like that's a very important message for a lot of you guys. I feel that's a very big collective message right now because a lot of people, wow, beautiful. Because a lot of people are coming into themselves they're recognizing that a lot of people who are around them possibly narcissistic people they just can't be around anymore because we are becoming so kind of in our own energy at the moment where we need to be more secluded we are really realizing that a lot of our a lot of people that are around us were possibly narcissistic or gaslighters essentially okay so obviously not everyone is like that but if you are recognizing that there may be people who are kind of not on your wavelength it's so important to pull away from them now more than ever okay so we then have the turtle very very cute gentle energy somebody is going to come in and help you who is very nurturing and you're also nurturing yourself and you don't have to have anyone in your life any more that really supports you obviously i do feel like you're going to have support in the future but that energy is kind of you allowing yourself to support yourself and just uh, and just being there for yourself you know you're not judging yourself and i feel like just allowing emotions to move through you a lot of the times we push and we force and we try to tame and realize what is this emotion what is this a lot of the time we just have to sit with it you know we can do as much as we can but if we just need to feel it we just need to feel it you know we're emotional beings we're allowed to feel it is perfectly normal okay so even though it's scary but it's perfectly normal these are just emotions okay so and they're as important as everything else on this planet <laughs> so and also the last thing i was going to say about that is the more you heal yourself the more you're healing the collective and, and the world you know we think oh i don't maybe you're the sort of person that doesn't feel like you have to go out there to be like an activist as in like a like somebody who um what's the word give me the word please who goes out and oh, i can't remember the word somebody who goes out and marches thank you who goes out on marches you may be the sort of person who is more on the observing side and that's okay you are an activist in any certain way as long as you are focusing on your energy that is important enough and you may think how is that affecting the collective it is helping the collective so much because so many of us are feeling trauma right now and the more you can support yourself the more you're allowing everybody else to do their own thing it's just an energetic thing it kind of ripples essentially so okay so as I was saying, so we have the dragonfly, this is where you are right now, right on the brink of that transition phase. And then, boom, going into this gorgeous energy of trusting your intuition, being a whole heart, wholehearted light being. You may obviously recognize, you may, you may not actually be like a light being, I mean, everybody has a different name for it. So whatever you recognize as, but I don't feel like the word is particularly important. It's actually how you're engaging in your vibration. So essentially, doing things that are right for you, observing and not being too into other people's drama, energy, addictions, things like that. That is not your job. Your job is to be who you are in the face of this. Who are you going to be in the face of this? Okay, I'm hearing, what is that What is that quote? I just had it and then I lost it. Feel the fear and do it anyway. That's what I'm feeling. Obviously within parameters. Okay, so we also have the eagle. So you can see both of these animals are kind of facing away from each other but they're both equally as important so what i'm seeing is you're looking at the ethereal lighter energy around you but you're also working with the 3d and the physical aspects of your life as well and you're grasping things that you feel like were out of reach before are now in your energy so essentially you're going to be manifesting things that are physically available to you and you're manifesting both sides of you and i love this because this is so intricate it's like 5d but also 3d and it's like beautiful energy coming together so you're observing but you're also not coming to overly analytical you're just being and that's that's exactly where we need to be we just need to be okay and that is perfectly okay i'm hearing don't worry be happy <laughs> oh my god i love this energy i love this card it's so stunning so we had the main energy of the wheel of fortune adaption and elevation which is gorgeous gorgeous so you may be looking into um star signs a bit more or astrology 
it may be something that's really starting to interest you you may be looking at gemstones i'm feeling because we have a gemstone kind of for each month you may be looking into gemstones and things like that in terms of like diamonds and opals things like that more kind of high like high more, more expensive crystals like you more, might be shopping for a diamond ring or you may be looking into more high class jewelry you know something like that you may even work in a jewelry shop or you may just be really interested in jewelry but you guys are really really oh, wow beautiful absolutely gorgeous underneath we have the two of rings <clears throat> excuse me fluctuation and adaptability beautiful allowing yourself to just be who you are because that is enough okay you are enough as you are we had the wheel of fortune ten of rings queen of cups so this is showing me that you are now ready to start this new cycle and you are feeling so much satisfaction if you're not feeling it right now your angels are saying you will feel it very very soon you have done everything you possibly can to move through this energy keep going keep meditating and drink enough water <laughs> basically drink enough water and sleep and exercise if you feel drawn to it i just feel like you are now just allowing newness to come in and, and also just allowing any sort of energy to not permeate your bubble and your bubble being your aura you know if you guys feel overwhelmed going outside as well especially if you're very sensitive really good idea is to put a bubble around you and this is an energetic bubble just imagine yourself kind of putting a golden light around you or something or a thick bubble whatever you feel like is good for you also one thing that I have never really shared but I'm going to share it with you today is strawberries so strawberries is a really good thing to help you be present and it's to think of five things all the different senses so you would think of something that you really love the smell of say coffee or tea or something like that and you pick up on all the your, all your favorite things so what is the, your favorite smell your favorite taste your favorite touch your favorite sight and your favorite a uh, thing that you like to hear listen to and if you think of all those things and bring it into your bubble this will allow you to be more present in your energy and not to kind of think about okay what's everybody else doing what is what is everybody else thinking of me that sort of thing and it just allows you to be authentically who you are without interruptions you know so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it also you may be very highly sensitive to the moon or becoming more sensitive to the moon so i would highly recommend the moonstone necklace i have on my website i would just highly recommend moonstone anyway uh really good for especially my ladies who have periods and who have that sort of <laughs> energy in your body um i do feel like it's really important to regulate your period around the moon so obviously if you aren't regular around the moon that's totally fine it's just the moon is still connected to us f feminines or masculines but especially those who are feminines if you are sensitive to the moon moonstone's really good for you and i'm also seeing there's another one as well clear quartz but there was another one what was the other one uh tourmalated quartz really good really good crystals so thank you so much for watching if you would like to check out my crystal shop please do i'd really appreciate it all the information is down below if you would like to have a private reading with me please have a look down below you can email me or message me on instagram to have a um, have a chat with me and get that sorted so thank you so much for being here guys i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading oh yeah so we have the I don't know what that was we have the pink opal uh tower this is on my crystal shop if you guys are interested i'm obsessed with pink opal one of my favorites along with pretty much a lot of crystals i just love crystals as you can tell by my youtube name all right so let's have a look and see what urgent message your angels and guys want you to know oh hi hi romance i love this beautiful so you have number 23 romance romance is it is a sacred power let it come to me this hour gorgeous you could uh, also resonate with the number two or three as well. They could be your sacred numbers. Okay, so we have Sagittarius, I see, and we have eighth house and is the beginning. So this is really interesting because we have a lot of twos. We have 23, 21, and 32. So we have three, two, two, three, two, one. So that's really interesting. So those could be very special numbers to you. We have, ooh, girl, I love this. I love this combination. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to put these two here. So I am obsessed with this. We have Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. That is intense. So we have the eighth house, which is ruled by Scorpio. We have the eighth house again, which is also Scorpio. 
and we have Scorpio. <laughs> Wow, so you could be a Scorpio, that's amazing. You could also be a Sagittarius as well. I'm also picking up on Aquarian energy quite strongly in Pisces. I'm here in Piscean. So it says, this is a house of life's enigmas, transformation, the hidden, sexuality and death. Here is where we can see someone else's property and money, real estate, inheritance and investments. We can also see our deepest unrevealed wishes as well as fears, occultism and esotericism. <laughs> That is a mouthful. Right, so that is a pun not intended. That sounded like a, no, I'm in my Scorpio energy now, girl. Like, <laughs> that sounded like a sexual quote or a sexual thing, but I think there's gonna be a lot of sexual energy around this group. So I love it. I am very happy. So first, I really want to address the romantic energy and the transformational energy. This is stunning. So the main thing that I'm really feeling is that you are coming into a romantic part of your life. I feel like you've really released or are still releasing and transforming your relationships and possibly your ninth house and also your eighth house could be as well. So your seventh, eighth and ninth house because Sagittarius is all about the ninth house as well because um, seventh house is relationships, eighth house is Scorpio and Sag is ninth. So I feel like you're now coming into a powerful energy of independence. Um, Sagittarius are normally very independent. They are very open to a lot of different religions and ethnicities and just they are open to pretty much everyone. They are non-judgmental. I feel like they are very open and they are have a very sacred energy and they're the sort of people that gobble up um, information and use it to kind of like have conversations about it. They're, they're the sort of change makers, very similar to Aquarians. So. I feel like, and obviously this is a positive, I feel energy of both signs, massive amount of sexual transformation, massive amount of transformation around your ninth house as well. So have a look at where your ninth house is, your eighth and your seventh, and have a look and see what, what planets you have there. Most likely you will have your Venus somewhere there, I feel. If not, it just feels like that this is something that you're really working on. So the ninth house is also about learning, it's relations, religion, law, higher power philosophies and ethics. So things that you believe in and things that other people believe in. So I feel like your relationships are gonna transform. I feel like you're going for a really big transformational energy within your relationships. And it's time now to allow this new start to come in. And I'm hearing this new start may be freaking scary because you are now coming into a new you and this new you needs to be taken out for a test run. So essentially, you know, when you're trying out, when you're looking for houses or you're looking for a car, sometimes you just kind of like, you know, have a look at the house, see which rooms you like, how you can transform it. And it's also like in a new car, you kind of have to like test it out. It's that energy of this feels new but it's exciting because it's like, wow, now I can experience something new. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are releasing a lot of, or have released a lot of old energy around exes, previous relationships, previous partners, previous family relations, and you're now beginning a new cycle. And most likely next year or the year after, you're gonna be moving house as well, because I feel like you surround yourself with, these people no longer resonate with you. And I feel like you're now coming into a new space of hell yeah, I am feeling myself and I want to completely transform myself. And it could be also you're transforming your physical appearance. You could be doing something with your sexuality. You could be kind of maybe even going for a sex change. It could even be that for some of you, obviously very specific message, but if you are feeling that, then you are feeling that. And we have the, this really strong energy of Pluto and Pluto is all about that really intense change. And I feel like this has been a very long cycle for a lot of you guys. Pluto, I feel like only transits around 10 years, I'm pretty sure, not entirely sure, but that's what I'm feeling. So this is quite a slow planet. So for you guys, you may think, okay, why am I in this cycle for such a long time? It may be just because you need to work through it, okay, and release it. And I feel like you're no longer allowing people to tell you who you are. And being a transformative energy, being a Scorpio or having a Scorpio deep in your chart, I mean, obviously it doesn't have to be, but for those of you who do have specific Scorpio placements, a lot of Scorpios can have a really hard life or have a really difficult life because people can be very scared of Scorpios. I know, girl, I'm a Scorpio son because we have this transformative energy. Very, It's a very natural thing, I feel, for Scorpios, but it can be very, very terrifying because people aren't ready to transform a lot of the time. And we meet these people to help them transform. So you may not have Scorpio in your chart, but you may be the sort of person who's helping others to transform, but no more of that. You are gonna meet people now who are on your wavelength 
and you are going to help people heal but it's not going to be at the detriment of your life it's going to be like you're living your life girl and it's going to be all good and i'm really connecting with amethyst in this group as well which is interesting because you didn't choose amethyst but i'm picking up on that really strongly and i'm feeling like the energy to nurture yourself is really important and to not self-sabotage i don't feel like a lot of you guys are self-sabotaging or you're learning about your addictions and ways you may have self-sabotaged in in uh, the past and also something that's really interesting to look at is reasons possibly why you self-sabotage looking at the kind of more psychological energy that really helped um, in my life personally so looking at that can really help as well and obviously be just very kind to yourself because that's what's coming through here as well so the angels and, and guides are like they're all clapping their hands i'm seeing a group of like five to ten angels and they're all just clapping their hands they're all they're all just like <laughs> you know so that's so cute and i'm also they're saying specifically there's male and female guides so it could be that you're bringing in male and female energies into your life now they're helping you to bring in an equal amount of masculine and feminine people so you have that balance and <clears throat> have a look in the next few months who you'll begin to attract because i do feel like you're not going to have just one um type of sexuality i think you're going to have various different ones i feel okay you are being reborn and nurturing oh wow okay girl oh someone's excited okay <laughs> okay 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 girl we have lots of cards okay so first card we have is a dragon the crow and the elephant here so this is who you are becoming i also feel like this is linked to the black egg right now you're kind of allowing this nice little bubble to form around you so being your own energy is going to be really really important and then we have the dragon, the crow, and the elephant. So all of this is all different aspects of you. The deep, the psychic, and the fierce, confident side. So I do feel like this black egg, that this is everything that's in there, essentially. You are now being reborn. So it's going to be quite nerve-wracking. And also you may have to really be very conscious of when you're um, kind of connecting with new situations. Not to judge them or force them or push them. Just kind of observe and think, do I want this in my life? Yes, no. And you can't do anything wrong either. If you feel like this is going to be a little bit of a gamble sometimes. If something new comes in and you're like, I'm not sure if I want this. It may be a little bit of a gamble. But actually sometimes those things can be the best things for us. Okay. So... With the crow energy, I feel like there's a massive energy of psychic power. I feel like your energy of psychic and it, your psychic energy is very, very powerful, I feel. And I feel like you are extremely psychic. So this is where you are right now, and this is where you're going, and that's stunning. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. And as you all know, crows, I think I mean they're birds, so they must lay eggs, and I'm pretty sure reptiles lay eggs as well. My brain is gone to mush, so <laughs> I just definitely feel like there's an energy of fertility and birthing this new life for yourself also just be very patient because this can come in just its own divine timing so if you're struggling a little bit just be aware that that's actually where you're going so you may think oh none, every, all of this is for nothing but it really is not just for nothing okay wow Ooh, girl okay I love this especially because we had the romance card I really love this can you see like how it has two cups so it's like one for you, one for me. That's sort of energy of like, we have an equal, we have equal values. You may meet somebody with the same rising sign or same Mars or Venus sign as you, or kind of like opposite Venus and Mars. So like maybe you have like Libra Mars, Sag Venus, and then they have the opposite to that. Really nice energy. We have integrity, stability, resourcefulness, positive potential. We then have spirit of swords, eagerness and tenacity i'm gonna okay let's say look underneath the deck okay we have two of rings that's really nice as well let's get one more card for you i feel like we need a little bit of can we get a clarification on all these cards please oh i love this the empress that's a really nice combination can we have oh wow okay we have the three of rings with the eight of rings let me just grab these other cards okay let's see what the spirit of swords has to say page of swords with the moon wow look at that absolutely gorgeous so you are now coming into your own path okay it's now your time to shine it's now your time to be um authentically yourself and you're now letting go of all karmic lessons and it says only upwards so your all energy is going up it is moving forward and it's shifting towards a higher energy and 
I feel like because we have this moon here, as I say, very intense uh, psychic energy, really big energy of psychic power. And with this eight of rings and the three of rings, because we have resourcefulness and positive potential with collaboration and com com competence, competence, well, I can't speak today. So <laughs> I feel like you're collaborating with some people and they're going to be your people. And I do feel like because you are no longer just being this person that other people want you to be, you are going to manifest people who are also whole within themselves. So you don't have to do any work. You don't have to fix, force, push something. You just are yourself with these people. So absolutely gorgeous. You're now working towards and on the path of positive movement and positive um pos a positive path forward and i feel like you're now realizing i feel like you're giving yourself space as well to grieve and to heal and i think that's really really positive and sometimes that can be really hard to do so if you were just allowing yourself to reborn re, re have a rebirth by yourself without any judgment that's really important and also i'm hearing you don't have to know everything which i know very Scorpio energy but you don't have to know everything sometimes things will just unfold as they are you know as long as you're doing your best that's all you can do okay obviously you can do ways to do things to help yourself but if you're doing enough then that's okay you know so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop so thank you so much for watching as I said in the start of the video all the crystals that I have in this video are on my crystal shop so if you want to check that out please do i'd really appreciate it thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading okay so you guys got this cute little small kai oh wow i can't speak you guys got this small caribbean calcite tower i'm in love with caribbean calcite it's just so so pretty so that is available on my shop if any of you guys are interested link down below underneath this video all right so let's have a look at the cards you guys got and let's see what urgent message your angels want to tell you oh you got three cards okay you're the only group who had three of these cards so that's really nice so you have glamour True love come to me and good cheer. We have 25, 26, 15. So it says into this mirror, I now see the realms of possibility. True love shall come to me as I do will, so mote it be. With kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. And then we have first house, the body. We have Mars force. We then have Mercury. And we also have Mars, so really, big energy of Mars. Hi, Mars has come out twice. So I love that. I love when cards just really correlate with each other. It's just extra clarification. So we have the energy of Virgo and we also have the energy of Scorpio. So really big energy. This is obviously to do with Gemini and Aries too. So Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini and Mars rules Scorpio and Aries. So I do feel like you could be a Scorpio Aries meeting with a Virgo or Gemini or vice versa. I do feel like you're really working on your communication skills and the angels and guides are telling you that good things are coming towards you. Okay, you've gone through a lot and it's now time for you to enjoy your body, okay, in a very sensual way. It could also be that you may be healing your body physically and starting to see more of a kind of a way out of this kind of physical body in a sense. So you may want to do astral travel. You may be healing your body in some way. You may be getting more of a regular cycle in terms of just waking up and going to sleep or menstrual cycle, things like that. But I do feel as if you're really taking care of your body or needing to take care of your body. So if you guys are very um, uh, more of an emotional being, if you kind of associate yourself as more of an emotional person, a more psychic person, I do see it's as important to work on your body as it is to work on your mind. So if you guys need to uh, take a day out or to really spend some time working on your physical body, whether it be taking a bath, relaxing, having some nice tea, you know, doing all those things, maybe having a detox or a fresh start or change out your diet will really, really help this energy to shift through. And the fact that we have Mars and Mercury is telling me that you guys are really shifting in your vocal cords is what I just heard. So I feel like you're now pushing the energy forward and it's not like a forcing push it's more like a, a gentle nudge <laughs> is what I'm hearing so it's kind of like you're meeting the universe halfway and you're saying like, I want this can I'm going to put it out there to the universe and I'm going to let it come when it needs to come and I do feel like the energy of Mars is showing me that 
I mean, Mars is now come out of retrograde uh, when you're watching this video, when this, when this video comes out. So Mars is now gone direct, which is really gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure Mercury is in Libra or Scorpio at the moment. So that is showing me you guys and Scorpio, as I say, Scorpio and Aries, they go really, really well together a lot of the time because they're both all by the same planet. So you may meet somebody with a very strong Mars or a very strong um, possibly Aries in their first house. So I do feel like you're also learning to be more confident. You're learning to embrace the things that make you happy and to not deprive yourself of that. And I do feel like a lot of you are wanting true love. I feel like you're wanting a romance of a lifetime. And I do feel like that's coming towards you. I feel like you're manifesting a lot of knowledge as well. You're kind of, you've cultivated a lot of knowledge, but you're also learning lots of new things about yourself. And you could be getting new information, possibly from a more worldly perspective, more things that are kind of more worldly, things that are kind of coming up to the surface, which is a lot of things are at the moment. So you may be kind of seeing that and being interested in it, but you could also be, using that information to kind of help others and help others be uh, awakened as well because there's a lot of awakening energy that's kind of happening right now so I do feel like you could come into a bit of anger so if you are feeling a little bit angry make sure to kind of use that as a, as a driving force to initiate a project or something and not kind of initiate it onto somebody else you could also be feeling um more desire to move and move forward in some way and i do feel like that's coming towards you it's just an energy of like taking your time and it will come when it's the right time i feel like you it's, it's initiating it's start to initiate it's started to initiate it's just not fully brewed yet it's not fully there yet but i love these two i think they're really really good i think the energy of communication, knowledge and willpower and desire is, is also showing me that you guys are really listening to what people are telling you. And I feel like you're also being very, you're, you're being very knowledgeable, I think, about what the, what's happening around the world right now. And you may be using that information to make yourself feel more comfortable or advising other people to kind of think in a certain way sort of thing or in a, in a more positive way i don't feel like you're forcing your opinions on people but also be careful not to force your opinions on people and just allow people to be as they are obviously we can influence people but we can't i keep getting this message i said this in group number two i'm pretty sure is you can't you can lead a, a, water, a horse to water but you can't force it to drink the unicorn underneath which is beautiful it's just really allowing other people to have their opinion and obviously we can we can assist people we can say that this is what i feel is going on right now uh what do you think and if somebody's like nope i don't believe you i don't think that and then you can say okay that's perfectly fine you don't have to be completely and wholly agreeable it's just allowing other people to have their opinions that's the best way of being and that's the co-creation energy we're coming into or beginning to come into it's a bit of a messy way of coming into it but that's obviously things need to break down before we get to the good stuff a bit like our soul's evolution sometimes we have to go through the crappy times to get to the good stuff and in the crappy times are normally <laughs> literally the phoenix is the best stuff because at the end of the day when we look back at it we think oh wow like i'm actually really glad i went through that and sometimes you're really not glad but actually the universe knows what we need and sometimes we don't want to listen and sometimes we do and that's okay you know you just do you girl you do you so underneath beautiful powerful fox energy of this fire energy strong leader leader quality so you guys are also standing up for what you believe in but also in a very, I feel like standing up for what you believe in a gentle way. I feel like if you force your opinions, it's not authentic. So you've got to be in your own energy as much as other people are because you wouldn't want somebody kind of coming at you and be like, you're this, you're that, you're this. Because, you know, we wouldn't want something that to do to us what we would do to them. So basically just treat everyone as kindly as possible, basically. Um, but this Phoenix energy is that Mars energy. So you may have been feeling quite um, lackluster, possibly more on a sub le level. So kind of feeling like you can't really assert yourself. So right now you could be going for a gigantic transformation. It's interesting because I'm picking up that each of these are for each of the cards. So I feel like, let's have a look and see. I feel like this is more about the love, this snake. I feel like this one is more about glamour and this one is good cheer. So glamour is also to do with the throat chakra. So it could be like you are accepting yourself more for who you are and what you look like. 
um, but also more about what you want to express in yourself. So you may be wearing your hair more natural, having your skin more natural, you know, doing things like that. And that's actually bringing you in, into a more authentic space where people can see you as you are and not as you kind of feel like you have to be, you know? Because you're born perfect, you know? And sometimes we can get a bit lost along the way. But if we keep coming back to our center and think, actually, this feels right for me and this doesn't, the more we tune into intuition, it's it's our navigation system, okay? So you're working with pretty much all the elements here. And I do feel like the Cosmic Egg is probably one of the most important cards I'm feeling. I'm getting really drawn to it. It's kind of like you're engaging this gorgeous rainbow energy that we're getting from the dolphin and you're using, I feel like using laughter and using happiness to drive it forward. So I feel like laugh more. I feel like watching funny videos, talking to friends, talking to family members who are on your wavelength and engaging in things that aren't so deep because a lot we are going for a very deep time right now and it's really important to look at surface things because they can be as easily as transformational as deep things as well but also on the other flip side is not avoiding that depth because if we're constantly on the surface all the time we're not getting to the root of an issue and you may be kind of recycling an old karmic cycle when you become aware of this i feel like you're then going to transform so this is the energy that you're at right now this is the energy you're going to be so you can see there's three cards here and one card here so basically putting all these together to form a massive transformational energy of kind of just coming into that gorgeous scorpionic <clears throat> energy which is <clears throat> beautiful really a lot of throat chakra energy coming through as well as i'm coughing okay also i'm hearing just treat yourself if you can just treat yourself i mean that's very very important so we have the four of rings which is all about that i'm pretty sure they're pentacles i still haven't figured that out yet but i'm pretty sure they're pentacles we had the high priestess illumination and knowledge definitely i feel like you're really seeing things in a different light now yeah four of cups beautiful massive amount of stability and just just really allowing things to be as they are and the hanged one which is the hanged man i feel like is in the reverse so that means you're moving forward now and taking one step at a time i feel like to get to where you need to go you have to wait to kind of jump on each lily pad but you can't just like fully go for it because maybe there is an LED pad that arrives next to you, you know, so you have to wait for the next step to come in. And I feel like don't rush this because obviously I know we have a certain amount of time on this planet, but there's no point in rushing something because everything is meant to happen for you the way it's meant to happen. Everyone has a different journey and there's no reason to kind of judge or compare yourself because at the end of the day it's something that really helped me as well and some of you guys may resonate with this some of you may not but what I was thinking is I there's a, a few people that I wanted to be like or I wanted to be and this is when I was, I was a lot younger and I used to look at these people and think oh, I really want their life and actually I heard a quote one day or I kind of had a realization that when you actually look at those people you think do I actually really want that person's life because at the end of the day they've already got their life you know they've already got everything sorted but that life may not be what I need you know so it's kind of thinking actually they've got their own life and I'm going to have my own life and I'm going to make it as special as I can you know so we don't oh I love this beautiful card we have judgment revelation and awakening absolutely stunning so this is the opening that's coming towards you and massive amount of enlightenment so you guys may have also been for a very strong spiritual awakening recently it could have been your it could have actually been going from religion to spirituality which is a huge gigantic <laughs> a gigantic awakening and transition and because you may have acquired knowledge that you never acquired before and it may have changed your perspective on the world and yourself and therefore it could have had this ma massive ripple effect so it could have been that you're kind of you're in an energy of scarcity and feeling alone and then you may have found spirituality or you may have found a spiritual community or just allowed yourself to be free and be who you are and then that in turn allowed you to be sustaining and be yourself and give yourself a chance to heal and not to judge your process and you will meet things at the right time okay so if you're waiting on something to manifest something just know that you will meet it at the right time and you cannot make it come any faster <laughs> obviously we can do the work on ourselves and we can 
be emotionally invested in ourselves. But if something's not meant to be there and when we need to heal first, then that's the most important thing. Because the worst thing you want to do is force something and then it just crashes and burns when you get it because you're not meant to have it at that time, okay? Also, if you keep repeating the same cycle, or the, a cycle keeps repeating itself, this is just telling you to look at this cycle and see if there's anything that you can twist um, or adjust or change. And if there isn't, just allow it to be and know that you're doing the best that you can. And things are going to start to shift very soon for you. I'm feeling in the next four months, really going to start shifting for you. And you're no longer going to be kind of hanging there waiting but it's, a, it's just an energy of transitioning okay so it's just allowing you gotta go from one bit to another and the transition period is the middle so essentially you're not here anymore you're kind of in the middle like this hanged person the hanged one and then you're going to be here so at, at this time of seeing this reading you are now actually moving forward so keep doing what you're doing guys and open yourself up to new opportunities if, if when they want to come in and don't judge them because the new you to manifest a new you you have to bring in change yourself you have to have change to initiate change so if you can really focus on your good parts of you and not so much the bad parts and focus on what you are doing and not what you're not doing then that is going to be very healthy for you and really help you to um change and just be yourself i'm feeling and i feel like um some sort of insecurity around your lips i'm seeing or you're changing your lips in some way that's just a message that i got i'm also seeing a pizza that pizza looks good <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching guys um i'm also hearing um like a i'm, I'm, all, I'm hearing like a girl and she's telling me a story of her date and i'm okay this is very random but i'm going to tell you guys anyway i'm hearing that she's talking about her date and she got like food on her mouth like when when like she's sitting in a restaurant with somebody and she's telling me a story and she's talking about i got, I got food on my mouth it was really embarrassing but the person wasn't embarrassed at all. They just laughed at it and shook it off, found it really funny. And then that's basically how she knew she was in the right relationship. So really deep message is essentially, if you feel like you're insecure about something, somebody else will find that endearing and will, and will love that part of you. And f look out for people who do that because at the end of the day, they're seeing your authentic self. They're not seeing what they want to see. They're seeing who you actually are. And that's the most important thing. That's the sort of person you want in your life. And those are the sort of people that you're going to attract. So also just be aware that you go through phases like the moon does and the moon doesn't have to be full to be perfect. Okay. So that is your reading. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much for being here. Also, I'm hearing don't feel guilty for eating a certain food. Just enjoy it. Obviously within whatever your dietary needs are. But if you were just wanting to eat like a one cookie or like have a, a friggin' salad or whatever you want to do, just do it, guys. Because I feel like you need to just let go and not restrict yourself on that thing. Because at the end of the day, if you fancy a cookie and you want a cookie, just have a cookie unless you can't have it, you know? Because at the end of the day, there's no point in eating that cookie and feeling bad about it. If you wanted it, you wanted it. And don't feel bad about wanting something, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below. If you'd like a private reading, same thing, down below in the description box. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.